on Jews. This is how you rewrite history. And you get a lot of disinformation, a lot of hatred in the process. And you are, to some extent, disinformed. So Herod wanted to put John to death because he was so popular among the Jews that he feared they would do anything that he would suggest, including leading a revolution. This is in Josephus. What? I never heard that. That he was going to lead a revolution? And so he thought it better to take him to the fortress of Makeros over here and have him beheaded, lest afterwards he regret having, he regret having been too lenient with him. So Herod just put him to death because he thought he would lead a revolution because he was so popular among the Jews. And that's the authentic history. Aha, but what do we have? Ah, John, Herod is a lovely fellow. He doesn't want to kill John. He loves John. He even goes so far as to admit that John is a righteous man. Ah, ha, ha, ha. the key doctrine in Palestine in this period, the tzaddik, the key doctrine of Kabbalah, the righteous one, the tzaddik. James is cognomen, what James was called by all groups. Herod knew John was a righteous man. But then what happened? It was birthday parties. Ah, the Romans love birthday parties. Great for Roman audiences. It was a birthday party, John, uh, Herod's birthday party. And some lascivious girl came along and did a dance. And it turned Herod's head. He didn't really want to kill John. We don't want to impugn centurions. We don't want to impugn Roman officials. Josephus said in his introduction to the Jewish war, a lot of the histories suffer from two main problems. Flattery of the Romans and vilification of the Jews. Aha. Uh -huh. Then he goes on to do the same thing himself. Anyone who wanted to survive in this prayer did. And that's the flaw in the Gospels. And that's the flaw in this story. And that's what we're all subject to. So, what happens? This girl who, the New Testament doesn't even know her name. You have to go to Josephus to find out her name, that it's Salome. And now we know it's Salome that dance the seven veils. But in fact, Gospels, you think you got that from the Gospels, but it isn't there. The Gospels make another mistake that's corrected in Josephus. They have Salome's mother, Herodias, as you may remember, married to Philip. Aha, uh -huh. no. It's Salome who's married to Philip. All these things you can verify, I go through it in my book, in the histories of the parent. But what's the point of it all? To rescue Roman officials, Roman appointed puppets, Roman officers from any charge of guilt in what was going on in Palestine. Therefore, Pontius Pilate doesn't want to kill Jesus. His wife had a dream the night before where she learned that Jesus was a righteous man. But in other texts we learn that Pontius Pilate was the most bloodthirsty governor that was ever in Palestine and didn't scruple to shed human blood at any moment. But his wife had a dream and she said, shed not the blood of this righteous man. So Pontius Pilate went to the Jews and they said, his blood be on our heads. That's Christian theology to this moment. And he said, okay, you have said it. I wash my hands of it. I am the Roman official. I, am not, I will not have the blood of this innocent man on my hands. And that's our picture to this present day. That is the rewrite. And that is what the Dead Sea Scrolls help to overturn and reestablish what really went on there and what really won against these Jewish Messianic groups. Now, it doesn't necessarily concern you folks, but it concerns your ability to think. So, what was going on? Why was all this going on? The last thing that would influence that is Paul in Romans 13. He said, the ruling authorities, he had a Roman citizenship after all, and this governs everything that he said. The ruling authorities would appear, put here on this earth by the power of God. God gave judgment on behalf of the ruling authorities. You have no right to overturn the judgment God gave. Therefore, you should not protest the ruling authorities. 
The wearing of the sword is its own reward. Righteousness has nothing to fear from magistrates. <laughs> Tell that to the witnesses of the crucifixion of Jesus. Righteous conduct has nothing to fear from magistrates. And he gets to the final point. Therefore, you should pay your taxes <laughs> to the ruling authorities, which is all the revolutionary groups were fighting against. That was the essence of all the revolutionary activity from 4, to 7, 4 BC to 7 AD on up to the final war against Rome in 70 AD where everything was lost by these revolutionary groups. I contend the scrolls are the literature of Messianic Judaism, revolutionary Judaism. Now why do we want to overturn their results? Because it was such a problem to the Roman Empire in general. And anyone associated with this movement was being executed and obliterated, including John and all the others. Now we know how John died. So what the, what the documents are aimed at doing is deflecting criticism for the Roman execution of these leaders onto the local population itself because they are the ones that would not let the Roman Empire live in peace and had recently revolted against Rome and, called, and made a very bloody war and were sending their messengers all over the Mediterranean. And that's what the scrolls bear out. Now, either, suppose we agree, the scrolls were Essenes. Well then these are not the Essenes most people think of Essenes because I've already showed you they are extremely militant, uncompromising, very extreme, apocalyptic, and what I have had the privilege of pointing out to everyone, including Bajan and Lee, who picked this up very strongly in their messianic legacy, very messianic. That's for our way of, or I have called them, and they have gone along with that, the messianic movement in Palestine. The literature of the messianic movement in Palestine. Not Christianity, Book of Acts tells us Christianity was first called Christianity in Antioch around 45 AD overseas. What was it called in Palestine? Essenism, something else, Nazaritism, scrollism, whatever. So this is what the scrolls help to write and give us a true picture of what was going on in Palestine. And this is what the overseas authorities are anxious to conceal because they want their movement to move in the Western world and not to be suppressed. And all those opposing the power of Rome ended up like the Dead Sea Scroll community. I think I'll end there, and uh, I'll take your questions on any point that I hit on, because there's so much more to be talked about. Do um, you want to change your tape then now, or? Huh? We have. You're okay?